Hi, my name is David Harabedian. I want to share with you today on the subject of religion versus relationship. Jesus really wasn't very religious per se. He was in relationship with the Father. He said, I never do anything of my own. I only do that which I see the Father in heaven doing. And the things that the Father does, the Son does likewise. See, true religion that's undefiled before God the Father is this. That we visit widows and orphans in their distress and we keep oneself unspotted from the world. That's James 1.27. James was the brother of Jesus and if anybody understood relationship, I think it would be James, the brother of Jesus. At the same time, James wasn't always in relationship with Jesus Christ. In fact, Scripture indicates that none of his brothers believed in him. They were so caught up in religious traditions. You know, there's, there's only one thing that can really stop the flow and the power of God. Jesus said, You make of none effect the word of God with your traditions. You know, religious traditions can choke out the word, but relationship can breathe life into every situation. In the Garden of Eden, there were two trees that are highlighted in the book of Genesis. I just want to read a little bit about them. In Genesis chapter 3, we see the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and we see the tree of life. See, the tree of life really represents Christ, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, well, it represents religion. Let me read it to you. Now the serpent was more subtle than any of the beasts of the field. This is Genesis chapter 3, verse 1, reading on. Which the Lord God had made, and he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. See, they were given access to every tree in the garden of life, except one, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Kind of like the last cookie in the cookie jar. You can have anything to eat in the kitchen, just don't eat the cookie in the cookie jar. You've eaten that cookie before, and I have too. Just the temptation of it. You know, opportunity is said to knock once, whereas temptation kind of leans on the bell. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. For God does know that in the day that you eat thereof, then your eyes will be opened, and you will be as gods, knowing good and evil. Religion always causes you to be self-exalted, self-righteous, holier than thou. A set of rules and regulations that if you obey them, you can get the gold star. You attended church so many times and, and look at the certificate of achievement you received. Now, there's certainly nothing wrong with church attendance. I encourage you not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together. Scripture admonishes us to attend fellowship, but not for certificates of achievement. What about your prayer life? Is it born out of relationship? Do you wake up in the middle of the night because he's tapped you on the shoulder and drawn you into prayer? Or... Do you get up with a, an egg timer so that you can get so many minutes in and you can say, well, I did that? Do you find yourself taking the church program home so you can show it to somebody about your achievement? That's not relationship. That's religion. In the Old Testament, Jesus, in the Old Testament, David, King David, a man after God's own heart, was famished. He went into the temple and he ate the showbread that was only for the priests. Those 12 loaves were sitting there. They were replaced out daily. They were religious representations of the 12 tribes of Israel. Yet David was hungry. He was famished. He went in and he ate the showbread. Jesus said, he didn't sin by doing that. He met his need. God met his need. Are you religious or are you in relationship? The tree of the knowledge of good and evil represents man's righteous deeds. See, when you obey the letter of the law and you fail, you feel condemned. When you achieve the letter of the law, you have a tendency to feel self-exalted. 
it's religion. But when you follow Christ out of relationship, you have a humility about you that others can see and they can feel. I want to share an example from Luke chapter 5 on the difference between relationship and religion. This is interesting because the religious folks are there in the house where the Holy Spirit wants to move powerfully in their lives. Yet, as we'll see, they missed their day of visitation. Luke chapter 5, verse 17, It came to pass on a certain day, as Jesus was teaching, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law, the well-educated seminary professors of the day. They had attended the Harvard Seminary School, they spoke the Hebrew and the Greek. They could memorize the entire Pentateuch and quote passages verbatim on every subject there was. They had PhDs. Jesus walks in, and this is what Scripture says. These men were sitting by, and they were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. It was a packed house. And it says this, And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. God's power was present, coursing through the house to heal the Sadducees and the Pharisees. I don't know about you, but how many people do you know that have PhDs that aren't a little bit sick physically? They burn their eyes out, their glasses don't even work anymore. They've sat behind a desk. They're not the most athletic people in the world. They have high cholesterol and blood pressure and diabetes. You think they didn't need some healing? The power of the Lord was present to heal them. And behold, men brought in a bed, a man which had taken with a palsy, and they sought means to bring him in and to lay him before him. And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in, because of the multitude. Sometimes you've got to get creative to get to Jesus. You've got to get around the religious folks just to get to Jesus. It's kind of like you've got to get around the packaging of a present just to get to the prize that's inside. Religion hides Jesus. Relationship brings him out for all to see. They went upon the housetop, these men, and they let the man with the palsy down through the tiling with his couch into the midst before Jesus. Scripture says in Mark chapter 2, verse 3, that it was four men. Four men got this man to Jesus, but they had to fight through the religious community just to get him there. Sometimes you need a healing and you're going up to the pastor to get ministry and the deacons will stop you. Oh, don't bother the man of God. Go anyway, press through like the woman with the blood issue and reach out and touch the hem of his garment and you'll be healed. And when Jesus saw their faith, the faith of the people that brought him, he said unto them, Man, thy sins are forgiven you. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this which speaketh blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God? But when Jesus perceived their religious thoughts, he answered and said unto them, What reason you in your hearts? Religious people can't receive very well. They always ponder and think about it first and then miss the visitation. What, are, what is easier to say, Thy sins be forgiven you, or to say, Rise up and walk, but that you may know that the Son of Man hath power upon the earth to forgive sins? He said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto you, Arise, and take up your couch, and go into your house. And immediately he rose up before them, and took up that whereupon he lay, and departed unto his own house, glorifying God. Relationship causes you to glorify God. Religion causes you to say things that sound religious, but God's not in the picture at all. Verse 26, And they were all amazed, the religious folks, and they glorified God. And we're filled with fear, saying, we have seen strange things today. My point is, the power of the Lord was present to heal them, but none of them got healed. Their religion blocked them from relationship. Where are you at today? Are you ready to receive from God? If so, just raise up your hands. Oh, is that too religious for you? Raise them up and receive. Jesus, I pray that you would set the captive free in every one of us. Set us free from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, of good deeds and bad, and liberate us into the tree of life, which is Christ in us, the hope of glory. God bless you today. In Jesus' name, walk in relationship and manifest the Christ under the masses.